they go up and they go down. Now we're not talking about the markets, we're talking about hemlines, and it seems we are about to have a big mini moment. So here to fill us in is Christina Binkley with all the details on hemlines. Hi, Christina. Hi, Tanya. So tell us what you're seeing the designers roll out with this season and how the buyers are responding. This is an interesting one. It's a perfect moment to watch how fashions change. You look at hemlines, it's the, sort of the, the, the major trigger that we think of when we're talking about changing fashions. They've been low for several years now, like shin length. You can talk about the Mad Men look in the, in the early 1960s. That may have influenced it. But, um, but suddenly, some of the sort of leading designers, the ones that tend to be at the, at the edge of changing fashions, have been putting minis, and I do mean mini minis, micro minis, on their runways. Despite my silly intro there, some say there actually is a connection between the economy and hemlines, the lower ones we've been seeing reflected by the recession. By that measure, do you think America is ready for the irrational exuberance of the mini? You think this is going to take off? I think it's going to take some time. It, it may be, you know, we're, the economy is improving. And I think, you know, we, if, we, if we looked at the numbers of the economy and, and measured it to hemlinks, we probably would find um, a, a, relation, a linear relationship there um, in the last 10 years or so. But I think it's going to take a while for minis to go, to, to go mainstream. I talked to, to the fashion director of Bloomingdale's who told me they were going to wait it out for a year or so. Even though these, these have been on the runways now, that, uh, Eddie Slemain at Saint Laurent put minis on the runway a year ago. We saw a slew of them for spring and even a, a larger slew in the fall collections. So the people who are really into being on the cutting edge of fashion may start wearing them if, uh, if, the, uh, if the skin tone on their legs allows it love or hate the mini, but what about at the office? How short is too short? You have an office appropriate test. Yeah, you know, I think this is something you need to do when you're trying them on and, and to think about, of course, your office. But the, you know, the point of a mini is to draw attention to the legs and to your body. That might not be the right look for your office, whatever you do. At all regards, you don't want to have, um, you, you don't want to have a, a Paris Hilton moment um, at the office. So when you're buying a mini skirt, sit down Wiggle around on the chair and stand up and do it three times. Anybody who's worn a miniskirt has had the, the effect of standing up and finding that it's suddenly hiked up several inches right. uh, shorter than it was. And, and Christina, tell us before we go, what's been the influence of Mad Men on the mini? I mean, we certainly are seeing those hemlines creep up on the show. Yeah, I, th I think we have all given Janie Bryant, who's the costume designer of Mad Men, a lot of credit for influencing global fashions for the last five years or so. Um, we, we went with early 60s dress for a while. I took a peek at the, the, next, the next and final season of Mad Men is, is about to air. Um, it is full of mini skirts. The skirts were getting higher and higher in, in previous seasons, and this one is the, it's full on micro minis. Well, if you've got the legs, why not? All right, Christina Brinkley, thank you so much for keeping us trendy.